Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from Arithmetic Progressions chapter, which had appeared in CBSC Board Exam 2025 for Mathematics Standard Paper. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and second sub question is of one mark, and the third sub question is of two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first question now. In an equilateral triangle of side 10 cm, equilateral triangles of side 1 cm are formed as shown in the figure below, such that there is one triangle in the first row, three triangles in the second row, five triangles in the third row, and so on. Based on the given information, answer the following questions using arithmetic progression. The first question is, how many triangles will there be in bottommost row? So let us try to understand the question first. So here we have been given a triangle, this big triangle, whose side length is 10 cm and it is an equilateral triangle. So the length of all the sides of this triangle will be 10 cm. And within this big triangle, small equilateral triangles of 1 cm length are been placed in such a way that the first row has one triangle. So we can see this is one triangle. In the second row, we have three triangles. So one, two, Three. Now in the third row we have five triangles that is one, two, three, four, five and it goes on. So in the first question we have to find out how many triangles will there be in the bottommost row. Now here we can see that the tenth row becomes the bottommost row because the side length of this big equilateral triangle is 10 cm. So it will keep on extending till 10 rows. So we have to find out how many triangles will be placed in the 10th row. So let us begin by generating a sequence for the number of triangles placed in each row first. So the sequence of triangles placed becomes in the first row we have one triangle. In the second row we have three triangles. In the third row we have five triangles. In the fourth row we have seven triangles and it goes on. So from the sequence we are going to find out the first term of the sequence which is one in this case. Now D represents the common difference. So for the common difference, we have to take the second term minus the first term. So here we have got 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And since we have to find out the number of triangles placed in the bottommost row, which is the 10th row, n will be equal to 10. So here we are going to use the nth term of an AP formula, which is a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times D. Now since n is equal to 10, we have written here a10 is equal to a1 is 1 plus n is 10. So 10 minus 1 times the common difference we have got is 2. Now simplifying this we get 1 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2. So a10 will be equal to 1 plus 9 times 2 is 18. So finally we get the total number of triangles placed in the last row or bottommost row that is the 10th row as 1 plus 18 that is 19. So 19 triangles have been placed in the last or bottommost row that is the 10th row. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the next question. How many triangles will be there in 4th row from the bottom? So here we have to start counting the number of triangles starting from the bottommost row and we had seen that 10th row was the bottommost row. So now the sequence changes because we are going to count the number of triangles from bottom to top. So the sequence becomes now the number of triangles in the 10th row the number of triangles in the ninth row, the number of triangles in the eighth row, and so on. So let us generate the sequence now. So the sequence now becomes, in the tenth row we had 19 triangles, as we had got in the previous question. So in the ninth row we have two triangles less, that is 17 triangles. In the eighth row, now this becomes the third row, we have two triangles lesser than 17, so it becomes 15, and it goes on. Since we are going from bottom to top, the number of triangles keeps on reducing and they reduce by 2. So here the first term of the sequence becomes 19. The common difference now becomes the second term minus the first term that is 17 minus 19 giving us negative 2. And since we have to find out the number of triangles in the fourth row from the bottom n will be equal to 4. So here again we are going to make use of nth term of an AP formula. So a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So n becomes 4 here. So we have written a4 is equal to a1 is 19 now plus 4 minus 1 times the common difference is negative 2. 
So simplifying this, we get 19 plus 4 minus 1 gives us 3 times negative 2. 19, now plus 3 multiplies with negative 2, giving us negative 6. So the number of triangles in the fourth row, moving from the bottom to the top, becomes 19 minus 6, that is 13 triangles. So this is going to be our answer. Find the total number of triangles of side 1 cm each till the 8th row. So here we need to keep on counting the number of triangles from top to bottom till we reach the 8th row. That is we are going to take 1, then 1 plus 3, then 1 plus 3 plus 5 and it goes on. Now here since we are going to count the number of triangles moving from the top to the bottom, that is till we reach the 8th row, the sequence becomes 1 triangle in the 1st row, 3 triangles in the 2nd row, 5 triangles in the 3rd row and it goes on. So now the first term of the sequence becomes 1. The common difference becomes the second term minus the first term. That is 3 minus 1 giving us 2. And since we need to keep on adding the triangles till the 8th row, n will be equal to 8. And since we need to find out the total number of triangles, we are going to make use of sum of first n terms of an AP formula given as Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So here basically we need to find out S8. Now substituting the respective values in the formula, we get S8 is equal to n is 8, so we have written 8 over 2, times 2 times a1 is 1, plus 8 minus 1, times the common difference is 2. Now here 2 divides 8, that is 2 1 times is 2, and 2 4 times is 8. So we get 4 times, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 8 minus 1 is 7, times 2. So here 4 times 2 plus 7 times 2 gives us 14. Now simplifying it, we get 4 times 2 plus 14 is 16. And 4 times 16 gives us 64. So if we keep on adding the triangles till the 8th row, starting from the first row, we get the total number of triangles till 8th row as 64 triangles. So this is going to be our answer. How many more number of triangles are there from 5th row to 10th row than in first 4 rows? Show your working. So here, basically we need to find out the total number of triangles in the first four rows. So for example, let's say that the total number of triangles in the first four rows are going to be 20. Then we have to find out the total number of triangles till the 10th row. So let's say that it's going to be 100 triangles. And then we are going to take the difference between these two. And that will give us the total number of triangles from the 5th row till the 10th row. So let's say that 100 minus 20, it is going to be 80 triangles from the 5th row till the 10th row. Now these are just examples I have given. And then finally to find out how many more number of triangles are there from the 5th row to 10th row than in the first 4 rows, we have to take the difference of these two. That is 80 minus 20, that is going to be equal to 60 triangles are more from 5th row to 10th row as compared to the first 4 rows. So keeping this in mind, let us start finding out the total number of triangles in the first 4 rows and total number of triangles in the 10 rows using the sum of n terms of an AP formula, which is So Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now here we are going to generate the sequence of number of triangles starting from the first row going downwards as 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So the first term of the sequence is 1. The common difference is going to be second term minus the first term that is 3 minus 1 giving us 2. Now let us begin by finding the total number of triangles in the first four rows. So taking n is equal to 4 first we have written here s4 is equal to now in place of n we have written 4. So 4 over 2 times 2 times a1 is 1 plus 4 minus 1 times the common difference is 2. Now 2 divides 4, that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 2 times is 4, giving us S4 is equal to 2 times, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 minus 1 is 3 times 2. Now for the simplifying this we get 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 plus 6 gives us 8 and 2 times 8 gives us 16. So the total number of triangles in the first four rows are going to be 16. 
Similarly, let us find out the total number of triangles till the 10th row. So now n will be equal to 10. So S10 will be equal to 10 over 2 times 2 times 1 plus 10 minus 1 times 2. Now 2 divides 10 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 5 times is 10. Giving us S10 is equal to 5 times 2 times 1 is 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2. Now simplifying this we get 5 times 2 plus 9 times 2 is 18 and 2 plus 18 gives us 20. So 5 times 20 gives us 100. So the total number of triangles till the 10th row or the last row are going to be 100. Now let us find out the total number of triangles from the 5th row to 10th row. So we are going to subtract the number of triangles till the 4th row from the total number of triangles till the 10th row. That is 100 minus 16. It's going to give us 84 triangles. So the number of triangles from the 5th row to 10th row are 84 triangles and the number of triangles in the first 4 rows we had got it as 16 triangles. So now to find out how many more number of triangles are there from 5th row to 10th row as compared to the first 4 rows we are going to take the difference of these two that is required number of triangles is equal to 84 minus 16 giving us 68 triangles. So, there are 68 triangles more from 5th row to 10th row as compared to the first 4 rows. So, this is going to be our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.